Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry, still a little sick. Um, but today, we're going to figure out a little more about the mysteries, about why everything went so wrong down here in this really ramped up section of Star Wars. And we're going to have a really rollicking great time doing so. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will be with you in a second. Cool beans! Yeah, I mean depressurization technically, I, but I thought I thought they were just using it in the sense that like that the air was gonna be gone, but like they're actually like they're not they're not just venting the air. They were actually depressurizing, which apparently their force field can to protect them. I mean, I, te I guess yeah, force fields can protect you from that. But yeah, you, I should have exploded. Look, look how mine. Thanks, thanks. I'll say it again. So I don't have to do that again. So I don't have to explode the mine again. Okay, maybe I just don't. Oh, hey, look at this. There's a computer panel. <laughs> Oh, uh, airlock controls inactive. Okay, what if I, hear me out, don't interact with those airlock people first. And I just let them sit over there and do that. Uh, plasma grenade? What's plasma grenade do? Oh, well, that didn't do a lot. An adhesive grenade here. I don't know what that did. I have a sonic grenade. I have lots. Poison grenade. Have one of those. Oh, the, the adhesive one. That's right. It makes them stick to the ground. Ow. I need to get my force powers back. Cause last time I had I had given myself oh. more force powers. Now I don't have. Aha! Deflect! Deflect! Ha 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 ha! Take that! Ha 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 ha! Take that! Alright. So what's the point of the breath mask then? If it's not gonna help me... ...live... Damn it! <gasps> There's a mine there. Poison! Poison! Blood! You should use blasters to give them a fighting chance. Nah. Average plasma mine. Are there two lockers here? Or is it just like being weird? Hyper adrenal strength. There's another mine. Oh no. <gasps> another suit. Oh wait. Do I like use this? But I, I don't get to touch it. Oh okay. It'd be cool if I could take it back with me and then have a friend come with me. Boo. Let's see if I can like sneak in and grab that stuff on the right without them noticing me. Hey, yeah. In real life, you would have obviously run to talk to the survivors first, but since I have precognition and foresight in the fact that I can die and then come back to life in video game know what to do. So now that I've looted everything, now I'm gonna go talk with these guys. No, no, y you- I won't let you okay. open the door for those uh -huh. mo- Okay. Let me mess with this computer panel. Deactivate depressurization sequence. Releasing airlock seals. Ha ha ha! Take that! No, no. You're blue! Faraxa will get us. No, the cell cath are coming. That guy is blue. No, no, no! Ah! Uh, uh, calm down. I'll protect you. I, I'm sorry for no, what I did. No, you're not blue anymore. I don't know what came over me. I 
I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and oh, eaten before my oh eyes. Oh my gosh, De and me. oh Destro! I, I thought Thank we were the you only for the raid! Left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a we're, while. We're in a terrible part! Strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. Everybody's being I eaten! Been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake well, I was how making. have you guys suddenly I'm become Nora, logical? And this is Sammy. You! We were scientists working here on the Heraklion. He's Rift the one in project. charge. Thank you, Destro, for the raid! Hello, everybody from Destro! <laughs> Welcome! We've been streaming for a very long time. But we're in like the Cellcath base, and it's terrifying. It, or not the cell cap. It's technically their public place, but it's where the cell cap have gone insane. And they're eating everybody. And it's like, whoa! And it just turned into a thriller. And it's... Bleh. Don't let them eat them. Eat, eat me? I know! I'm trying! So far, I haven't been eaten by the sharks, which are cool. And I haven't been eaten by the cell cap. But I did get depressurized just now. Even though I was wearing a breath mask, I was sad. But I tried my best. And thank you, Benjamin, for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, guys. Oh my gosh. Have you, after all of this, have you seen a star map? I guess I forgot that's the whole reason we're down here. I got caught up in the, like, thriller alien vibes of the, all the other aliens trying to kill us. Um, what was the Republic doing here? We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. I don't know if the Sith are actually involved. Like, I'm kind of inclined to think that the Sith aren't the ones doing this, that it's maybe something to do with, like, the star map. They, like, reach this ancient power thing, and then it, like, went, Wah! and it, like, drove everybody insane with fish brains. Um... But did this have something to do with us? Uh, I just want to say what happened. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose <gasps> up A monster! Rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything oh, we I've woke ever up seen in ancient before. power! Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Silkaths started screaming too, and they turned on us. What the freak could have happened that could have done a, a certain type of electromagnetic pulse or whatever that would like turn people crazy? Stay frosty, I do. I, for some reason, I've been extra energetic today. Uh, a mecha shark or a mastodon? My favorite part was when the Asian power went, Wah! <laughs> Like, it went Inception noise, like, Wah! <laughs> uh, Cthulhu! Oh my gosh, poor baby, I can't believe I didn't even think about that. Cthulhu has risen! Praise Azeroth! Wah! Or Asgathoth. Azeroth is, <laughs> Azeroth is World of Warcraft. Whoops. Uh, okay. What? I mean, these are all good questions, but like, I, I kind of want more info. Uh, it was protecting something? It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. <laughs> I know, I know, I messed up. Not Rift. Near the Not rift. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Uh, like what? What? Like what? I'm, I See, I, so, so these are like dumb questions, and I'd like to ask the smarter ones, but I feel like you get more info if you ask the dumb ones first. Uh, it's awesome, contagious, positive energy. It's always appreciated when I'm expecting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's not annoying, I guess. If it's annoying, I guess people can, 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 not watch. But I do. I have my moments. I don't know why today I'm so. I'm usually somewhat energized, but today's been a pretty good one. Uh, like what? Like 
why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so long. It's a mastodon. It must be feeding off the Colto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Colto as a food source. And all those other Farax and sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Yee! Yee! You're way more energetic than you are. Oh, not always. Not always, I'm sure. Just sometimes. Um, uh, already showing off funny goofs. Oh boy. <laughs> I was I was not prepared for the raid, but it's always it's, it was a it was a pleasant surprise. Uh, I did I didn't have pizza rain. I had parmesan bites, which are supremely way more better. <laughs> pizza is much more inferior to parmesan bites. Um So what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were Yikes. working on a soluble chemical compound high, that would drive them away. Job. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working but right. The sonic oh, thing I think works. not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. Uh, this is like the, it is, I think, the fourth time or so that you've raided Destro, but it's never like I expect it. It's just, it just happens, and when it does, I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> pizza, is, pizza is code in this chat for Parmesan Bites. I say pizza because it's shorter, but I eat almost exclusively Parmesan Bites. That's basically what I eat. Uh, I did, I did play a little bit of Overwatch with my sister. She wanted to play. She hasn't called me today, but, um... Yeah, I just—I actually just checked my phone because, like, oh crap, has she called me? But no, <laughs> there was that—that that was kind of a unique situation. I don't usually do that. Oh, uh, what does this compound do? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Farax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. I have development. the Sonic thing. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by That's clogging their intakes. That's kind of mean. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our Why station. Why is a scientist but we don't know how else the chemical reacts. Sword? We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect nope, the Colto. Nope, nope, we're not using it. We know exactly what it'll do. It. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. We're not using it. If it could damage the environment around, it's not acceptable. Destro, though! Thank you so much for the 200 bits! The 200 bitties! Oh, yeah, and then, oh, because it's that whole, uh, the bleed purple thing that's going on. So it was technically 220 bits. Because of that whole weird bits thing that I saw briefly that they're doing, and I don't really know what it is, but you get extra money from the bits. So thank you. Oh, uh, chatting with Chad, she's chilling out with her Viewmaster. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was actually the baby squirrel, Stonesmith. It was the youngest, uh, the youngest squirrel. She wanted to play Overwatch, and I was streaming, and, and people wanted to watch, so we played Overwatch. <laughs> Uh, what else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister no! of the toxin here right no! now. We were working Think on no. it before the giant Firaxin drove all the cell cap no! insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto what? harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxin shark. Or it won't shark. affect the giant Firaxin shark and, and, and it'll just ruin the Colto in the area. Yeah, bonus bits. That's the word. Kill the ancient animal living in its own territory. I know, that's the thing. It's like situations like this where humans are like, oh no, how could this happen to us? And it's like, you guys literally walked in the door and parked your butts down and said, this is ours now. And you get upset when ancient malevolent creatures come up and protest that? <laughs> Uh, well, the monster seems to have been driven yes. out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the mm -hmm. rift. What else could I do? We've seen I, it out I there asked. on the cameras, bashing itself against oh, the machines. Oh, I not like them. I think if you could destroy okay, the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into but, its lair inside the rift. I was like, there's got, there's got to be a but to that, where it's like it would. I mean, we. I mean, I guess if I destroyed the, I was, I was like, we can't keep using the area because obviously the culta or whatever, the shark, the shark, the giant shark, the mastodon lives here. 
but I could technically kill the Mastodon, and then it would keep production of the Culto going, which the Republic needs to fund its war efforts. So again, this place has been full of crucial dilemmas that make me sad. How am I getting Manon? I'm loving it. I actually just did the, um, the investigation thing with, um, that guy who was accused of murder and, like, who actually ended up actually murdered the woman. He was, like, lover, he was having an affair, he was this old guy, and he was, like, this Sith woman who's young and beautiful loves me because she loves me, and he didn't, took him a year to realize that she was only using him to get information. Duh. We have no idea why God P started killing us for no reason. We haven't done anything wrong in our whole entire lives. Ding. We must tame it and ride it into battle. Okay, I just watched Aquaman last night, or the other night, not last night, like, uh, like a few days ago, and that's basically what happens at the end of Aquaman, and I thought that was pretty bomb diggity. <laughs> How would I do that? <laughs> you can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. That was a lot of itself. science you just threw The me. hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, science. a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough Throw of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that and it'll then science will happen. form and start a chain reaction inside the uh -huh. machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those You're years so whiny, of work. whiny boy. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. So we can either jeopardize the Republic's culto harvesting efforts in this particular area. Not saying they couldn't move to a different area. I think they just happened to pick a bad area. Or we could poison the water, which may harm the cell calf and the surrounding area in the future. So I think long-term goals, it would be better to vacate the area. Short-term goals, it would be better to kill the shark. But I would like to think long term instead. What an option three? What? <laughs> three if you're a true believer? Oh my gosh, what? I didn't even look at this! I'll do what I want and kill both of you as well? What? What? What the heck? Thank you, Benjamin, for the host. I appreciate that. That's very kind. <laughs> Thank you for the host. Um. <laughs> yeah, you've been very helpful. And now you must die. Like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? I, who would... Being a Sith in this game, or being dark side in this game, seems so childish and dumb. Like, everything is so, like, over the top and excessive. It's like, I'm gonna murder you because I can. It's like... Because I want to for fun. I'm like, that's just evil. The Dark Jedi aren't necessarily... They don't just kill people for fun, necessarily. Uh... <laughs> and the Republic. Okay, bye, Black Femme Geek. Thanks for hanging out. You and the Jedi are not that good either. I mean, right? Like, that's the thing. Is like, the Dark Jedi and the Light Jedi, they have issues. Both of them do. Right? Stealing babies? I mean, that's a thing. That's a thing that happens, and it's not a good thing. I was reading one of the Thrawn, like, not, not the original Thrawn trilogy, but, like, the prequel to the Thrawn trilogy the other day, or a while back, and, like, the guy was, like, wanting, like, the guy who got sent out on the generation ship, the Jedi, he was, like, basically, like, his existence in the Jedi Order solidified to me everything that was wrong with the Jedi Order at the time. And that, like, the Jedi Order did nothing, almost nothing, to police its own people who got in high ranks. They're like, oh, if you're here, you're a good person. But this guy, who was, like, a Jedi Master, was, like, kind of a terrible person. And I was like, wow, hey, wow, that's a whoa. Whoa. I'll try to destroy the harvesting machine. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting Besides, machine and she's fill it with the fuel injectors is. to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Uh... I think they just gave me the poison. You know what you have. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna not destroy the environment. That's what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna jeopardize long-term endeavors in the area just for this 
one war, like, you're getting culto regularly in other ways, too. I, th I already looted all these things, but I'm just gonna open the doors. I could go out that door over there. This airlock over here. Bleh. Poisoning a shark, killing two lives, very dark lines. Well, hopefully, if by destroying the harvesting machines, I'm not gonna kill these people that are in here. I wouldn't I would assume that wouldn't they would have told me that that would be a thing. Be an environmentalist? I am. Well again, it's long term versus short term. Like, we can harvest culto elsewhere. Like we don't have to damage the area because that would that would also damage relations with the Selkath in the end. Because they greatly value and take they're they're big they're big on keeping their planet safe and that's one of the reasons they're so controlling about it. Save. I wonder though if the if that whatever scream that thing did. The Mastodon did must have affected humans a little bit because that guy went insane and those two were kind of insane and then kind of came back to themselves uh, actually, okay this is actually dead it I should have gone to that one because it probably would have been a tiny bit shorter now I have to walk all the way over here oh my god it's gonna take ten years yep I can't there's no other shorter way there's no way I just have to but right, I mean, we can always build another mining base, but it could take, like, centuries to repair the damage that poison would do in the water. And what do we know what it's going to do? Like she said, they, they've done tests on it. I assume they've done tests on salt water, but in controlled lab situations. But the actual ocean, they could even get, I mean, they actually get samples of the water right here, right now, you know? But, like, when things hit the open ocean, like, things go, you, know, you, you can't really predict what's going to happen in such a, an, an environment full of so many variables. But it's easy enough to pick up a mining base. And I don't know if I can get the Colto Shark to, or the Colto Shark or the Mastodon thing to go away. Maybe they could try to like remove some of the base rather than just leaving it there. But I don't know. Maybe I should go inside and walk around. It's fine. What's that DLC in Mass Effect 3 where you go underwater in that giant mech suit and you meet the, like, the, like, original race that the Reapers come from? Leviathan! Thank you, Rain! Rain's on top of it. Oh, look at you guys! Destra and Grammy! You guys, all, you guys all win. You guys all win a prize. Is this actually a dead end here? It actually just let me walk all the way over here for absolutely no reason. And it's not gonna let me walk past the grass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It just let me do that. There was nothing over here. It took advantage? This game just took advantage of my exploration tendencies. And I'm playing an RPG, so obviously I have exploration tendencies, and it took advantage of those. Can I? Oh, I didn't walk in here though. Oh, I forgot to go pick up the loot in that other little narrow area. See, these don't, there's nothing here to pick up on these ones. You're gonna go with Leviathan? You get an honorary medal, Stone Smith. That's what, that's what you get. <laughs> you get an honorary medal. I feel so sad that my buddy, my buddy Mercenary died. I wonder how that uh, basic speaking Twi'lek is doing. Was there... There was nothing over here, right? There was just an, it was just an airlock, that's right. I remember. I am underwater! I am indeed underwater. We're basically Bioshocking it up. It's why we have this funny little run. It's why we're wearing this giant underwater suit. Even though we're in like a super, super high-tech space future where we can go through wormholes, um... Actually, no, we, I, don't, I don't know if wormholes are a thing in Star Wars, really, but we can warp through time and space. We have to wear this bulky, clunky, terrible, nasty, nasty underwater mech suit. <laughs> that's really like, was so basic. I know. 
one of the drawbacks of underwater you walk. Yeah, unless you got like a power suit of some sort. Give me a power suit. Look how fast I can go on my own two legs. Okay. Um. All right. On that note, I actually have no. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know why I came back in here. Um. I'm supposed to take my stuff to where am I supposed to go we're not lost we're not lost I know exactly where we are I just don't know where to go <laughs> like I went there was nowhere else out there to go but I feel like I was supposed to go out there I'm gonna go I'm just going to look at the map and we're gonna cut it off there where I'm definitely not lost and I definitely know where I am. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.